Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back. It's Friday. It's bright outside as you can see. <laughs> Anyways, um, if you guys could please like, comment, and subscribe, I'd appreciate that. It really helps me and uh, hope you guys have been watching the last couple update videos. I'm going to start doing kind of a daily, almost everyday vlogs, um, kind of updates and stuff. And right, the last couple of videos I've just kind of done in the morning and uh, Sometimes there's not a lot going on early in the morning. I get here a little early before anybody else does. So it kind of looks like the same things are parked here a lot of times. But usually that's because jobs come in, they leave, and at night we pull things back in. So sometimes uh, all, uh, sometimes doing morning vlog videos probably might not be the best. So you'll probably see me start doing some more videos during like midday and stuff. So anyways, here is a interior exterior detail that we uh, started on yesterday we had to go pick this vehicle up this is a return customer so um so far we just got the interior done um so today we got to do is finish up the exterior um but you can see inside there's pretty clean so um we just got a couple little touch-ups to do and then we'll do the exterior so um also, we got rid of the Buick earlier this week. We also, um, that van that was sitting here a couple days ago, we decided to um, get a new engine and transmission for it. And it is about, let's see here. They're saying that the engine is about four to six weeks out. Right now, there's, the company's sitting on some cores. So you gotta give them about four to six weeks to build it and get it out to you. Um, the transmission is in stock, so we took a down payment from the customer and uh, we got the engine and transmission coming. Um, engine just has to get built. So it is in progress and on its way. So we just threw the wheels back on before dropping the subframe and put it out back. So um, today we have a 2010 Subaru Outback coming in for a catalytic converter and mass airflow sensor and a PCV valve. Um, it's a repeat customer. We do a lot of work for them. So um, we're going to do those couple things on that. Also, the Del Sol. Um, tomorrow, Carmen and I are going to go on a, a PNW Drives uh, Diablo Lake Rally Cruise. And it's the second one this year. It's kind of like the last nice day of the year, I think. Uh, looks like it's nothing but rain after this. So today, I'm going to get this thing washed up. It's just, it's, a, it's clean, but it's just, it's outside for a night. So it's got some pine needles on it and stuff. So we'll go ahead and give it a quick bath. And uh, we may get it on the lift today. Obviously, work takes priority, so we got to get the Outback done first this morning. It'll be here at 9. And then we might be able to get the um, Del Sol on the rack. And we're going to cut off this rice can. It's, uh, it's kind of broken inside. Hear that? Cheap exhaust system you get what you pay for so it kind of rattles and makes the car sound like a piece of junk when it's not so we're gonna hack that off we ordered a new muffler um, if it's in today it's supposed to be in today so we'll see if it's not in today then um, I'll update you guys soon but um, I did get the exhaust tip for it um, but we're waiting on the muffler so let me show you guys that right now so here's the tip I decided to get rid of the polished look since there's a lot of black on it, like the hood and the windows and the wheels and stuff. Um, so I went with, uh, here's just the tip. That's pretty much the only thing that you'll see out the bumper. So let's walk over there. So we're gonna get rid of that big old ricer can. And we'll kind of just uh, kind of show you an example on this side, but we'll just kind of have like a the tip sitting out like that. So should look a lot cleaner. The muffler's black too. Um, so we're going to go ahead and, uh, it's a little bit smaller, but I think it's going to look cleaner and probably sound a lot better. I hope right now it sounds <laughs> pretty ricey. So I don't exactly love that sound, but, uh, my stock exhaust was falling apart. So I had no choice, but to just throw a cheap system on there for now. So we'll put that back in there. Also, um, you can see my schedule looks crazy. <laughs> But uh, Monday, we have, uh, shoot, I forget what year it is, a 2000, a really like a 2019 model Audi coming in, and we are going to do a video on it as well. Um, we actually have uh, lowering springs, so 
we're going to do all around lowering springs on that. And then also we got an aftermarket honeycomb painted gloss black grill to put on that as well. So we'll kind of do an install video on that. I believe it's like a 20, shoot, let me see. Let's see what it is. Brad's going to laugh at me. I'm not an Audi guy, guys, so we got to see here. Looks like it is an Audi S5, and it looks like a 2019 model or so. So, I don't know if you guys can see that. So, it's a two-door coupe. So, it's beautiful, guys. So, we are going to have uh, the rack free for Monday. He's going to be coming in. And uh, we're going to do an, kind of a, probably not a, uh, a super detailed breakdown of how to install the springs. But kind of like a before, during, and after install video. And kind of highlight the... Um, things to look out for as far as doing the springs and this grill. So we're excited to do that. Just got the grill in yesterday um, I still have the manifold sitting here by the door. It's got to get out to vicious auto works so it can get welded up and uh, we just got some uh, LED headlights for the daily So probably throw those in later today if I get a moment um, Like I said earlier this week in the last video it's kind of a funky week. Usually I'm way too busy to do anything, um, but I keep a little to-do list um, by my calendar on my desk there. And uh, whenever I get a few few moments, I try to do a couple things on it. Um, so there's the daily. So if anybody's interested in this car, um, it's super clean, like grandma driven. I just picked it up, new tires. Uh, just did new timing belt, water pump, um, tensioner coolant oil cap rotors plugs wires all that good stuff and uh it's super super clean guys uh, i'll just kind of show you guys the inside here so super super clean exterior is pretty clean too it's got a couple tiny boo-boos but nothing nothing bad so anyways i'm not really like looking and begging to get rid of this thing but if any of you guys are interested um I'd let it go for a pretty good price. Um, it's super reliable, 10 out of 10 reliability, um, super clean. It's just not the exactly the sexiest car out there. Um, it's just a 2001 Honda Accord sedan, so um, not the sexiest car, but I'd let it go. And uh, for now, I'm just gonna keep it, but uh, money talks, guys. So yesterday, actually earlier this week, um, I was able to get out here and I, this had like overgrown grass over the curb. You could barely even see the curb. So I actually edged it, revealed the curb, kind of cleaned it up and then I painted it. And then I cut down two apple trees that were kind of in the way blocking view to my shop. So um, from there, I am going to kind of rake this out. There was some like old farm equipment and stuff stuffed in here for like flower beds and stuff, but it was done so long ago, it looked like crap. So um, I just kind of wanted to reveal um, uh, visibility from the road here and uh, so I kind of painted that up kind of giving it a cleaner look kind of shows the signs a little better um, we'll probably end up putting that sign right here on a couple of posts and uh, um, we're gonna rake this out get rid of all the crap I'm gonna throw some grass seed in it and have it uh, be just grass so also guys um, yesterday I had a little bit of time so actually that hose reel right there that actually was out there um, so we're gonna get rid of that here soon, too. Um, it's a bright day today uh, anyways um, These parking spots I just painted yesterday So I laid that all out with chalk line and stuff measured it all out. I kind of freehanded this so it's not perfect but um, I hated people uh, parking here because it was just blocking visibility from to the shop and seeing out the window of the road um, Also people would just park big trucks here and stuff or if you parked anything here, people will pull in here with big trucks. And when they're pulling out, it's just real narrow here. So we put kind of like a no parking zone right there, I guess you could say. And then 
I put four spots out here. So um, labeled that one for me as well, as well as these spots right out here are labeled for nitro. So anyways, trying to get things cleaned up out here. Um, I have a gravel lot out there that I need to get cleaned up. Um, I got some cars that we got to get out there moved. Um, because that's where I need to park the U-Haul because we got a lot of U-Haul trucks and trailers right now. And I'd love to park them a little cleaner and get some more signage out here for as far as uh, truck drop off, trailer drop off, key drop off, as well as um, rental signs. So uh, more people driving by can see um, that we have U-Haul available. Um, but anyways, Monday, we got that uh, Audi S5 coupe coming in. We're excited. We're going to do the grill, the lowering springs. We're going to do a breakdown video on that as well. Um, we got some. Hopefully, we'll get a chance to do the Del Sol exhaust today. If not, we'll probably get to it next week. Um, but I was kind of hoping to do it before the cruise, but that's if the muffler shows up. Also, we're going to throw some LEDs in the daily. Um, I like LEDs in all my cars. Um, they look good and they just uh, improve visibility most of the time. I have noticed that sometimes putting LEDs in aftermarket, even sometimes OEM aftermarket style headlights, that LEDs just aren't bright. But I put them in my last daily and people would just flash me and I could just see everything. So some people hate people that have that, but I'm sorry, looks good to me. I gotta be able to see um, older cars like this. Um, I do have the LED in here as well, but being in these older style headlights, they just don't reflect as good. So. Um, uh, but they look good but I can't see anything at night in this car but we don't really drive this car at night so it's kind of just like a sunny day car so we're gonna get it cleaned up today get the target top off get it put in the trunk and uh, hopefully we'll get a chance to do the exhaust before the rally tomorrow if not we'll do it next week but um, as far as the spray booth electrician had to kind of reschedule so he should be coming tomorrow to hopefully um, wire me up so we can get inspected ASAP got Subaru coming today in a little bit when everybody gets here and uh, we're gonna finish up this detail Audi coming in on Monday and uh, we're gonna do a couple videos on that so all right guys I appreciate you guys watching um, as soon as I figure out my um, hardware and software problem um, the videos will probably get a little more in-depth as well as the editing and uh, drone shots music all that stuff and uh, We'll get back to it. So anyways, in the meantime, I'll just keep giving you guys some shop updates. Hopefully some more during the day so you kind of see more of the work that's actually going on. But I appreciate you guys watching. So please like this video. Comment if you can. Subscribe. Share if you can. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks.